Hey man, get your ass up! Get back in the fight! Welcome back folks. This is Stevenson Prepper and I'm doing another gear review. This one's going to be on the ankle holster. This is the Uncle Mike's Tactical Series. And I got it for the Glock 26 just for a backup holster. And I'm going to show you, I guess, the likes and dislikes on this one. It fits, as you can see, the 26, 27, 33, 38, H&K. Fits a lot of different, you know, size 12. I don't actually know. I guess it's the size of your ankle. If you have cankles, you might have to get a, you know, a lot bigger size. But uh, I would say I have medium size, and I guess size 12 means medium. But it's made out of Cordura nylon. Um, conceals small, medium guns. Let's see if you can see any of that. Now this one is for the right-handed. Goes inside the left leg. Now, as far as holding it, it does hold it well. And for the safety police, this gun has been triple checked. So, that's for the safety police. And I'm going to show you what this thing looks like out of the package. Okay, I got it out of the package. It's got the label on there. Uncle Mike's. Since 1947, it looks like what it says. Size 12, of course. Um, the only thing, like I said, is all solid black. This is the strap that's supposed to go up around your, I would say, calf. That's what actually holds it, you know, up high. But I'll show you actually on me later. Um, like I said, it's a lot of pieces and this, that, and this is all put together. This is the actual hole where your leg goes. And it does have some nice padding in here. I mean, it's pretty comfortable. All this is, you know, that's nice. There's one thing that isn't, I would say, and that's on the part that goes up higher, which would be above, you know, your high, you know, socks. I wear, you know, taller socks, wearing my red wing boots, and that actually goes even above the taller socks. Well, here's one of the negative things that I really didn't care for. Now, it makes it comfortable, yes, but as thick as this is right here on each side, you add that together, not including the, the Velcro, which you can't hardly see, it has Velcro straps, has a real, real, this whole thing is a big patch. And the same thing for the inside. It's a real big patch where these actual Velcro strips coming up with this, with the button on top, can pretty much go anywhere on the side. And it holds extremely well. I mean, that's some good Velcro. But as thick as this is, once you compress it together, that's without the gun in there. And that's already really thick. So that's why I'm kind of spoiled with Kydex. I, I, like, I like it being thin and consistent okay gun in I'm gonna have to keep my arm out of that light all right gun in it does hold very well I mean you're, if you're worried about your gun getting scratched up or something like that this isn't this is gonna be very safe for your gun has a very good button little and if you see on that see the little strap the way they have it above for a quick grab this is actually like it's been burned or melted to where it's easy, I mean, it's very, very rigid, that right there. And it can actually be tightened up even more so it isn't so much slack. If you can see that slack right there, you can tighten this up to where that gun won't even move. So it's not gonna fall out. I will give it very good props on that. They did a good job on it being secure. Um, grab here, let me move my hand. Grab right here, and that's it. So it's a good little way to get it off. It's harder to get it secured than it is to get it off but thickness that's the only thing I didn't like and it holds well protects the trigger but this thing is just insanely thick and I mean you're gonna have to wear baggier pants and I got some 511 tactical pants that I was wearing these with and like I said they're baggy and you could still see this thing sticking out if you really looked you could see it and I'm all about no printing at all. I don't want to look like I'm wearing anything. If you go into church, you don't have that bulge sitting on your side of your leg. This one is for right-handed, meaning it goes on inside your left leg. So, why a backup gun? Why or why a backup holster or gun? Um, ex exactly that. Just for backup. Am I going to use it? No. If a situation is going down, and I have time, because this is going to take a little time. You're not going to pull this out as quick as your primary gun. But at least you have it. You know, if if you're in a situation, just say Walmart, 
and you hear firing going on and you have your wife with you and she did not have her gun with you, you have time, hopefully, to take this thing out and hand her the gun to protect your family while you separate from them if you had to to do what you have to do. Basically meaning you have a spare gun to give to someone around you. That's why I would have a backup because you're I don't believe you'd be able to get to this quick enough, especially wearing tall boots, to save your life. Uh, it, that's not going to happen. This thing's going to take takes probably a good 40 seconds to get this gun out. You know, pulling your pants up, unbuttoning that, it's difficult. But at least you have it. I mean, it makes you feel, I guess you say, more secure. But I'm going to show you what this thing looks like on. Okay, this is me putting it on. Like I said, you got to go inside, your left. And what I was doing, I was tucking it into my boot, the bottom of it. Go around this little strap. Making sure it's all the way in. And this top strap. This is the uncomfortable part. There's some stitching right here. And this isn't being picky. I mean, I can handle a little pain. But, I mean, if you aren't going to pay for it, why not have it extremely comfortable? It's stitching right here. Now, all this is comfortable. But right here, that will rub the crap out of you. My sock will go to about here. And this goes way up here over your calf, almost behind your knee. And it might go lower if you had shoes on. It would go lower if you had shoes on. This whole you know, system will go lower. But you're still going to have to stretch. Now, this does stretch a little bit, and it has adjustment to where you get this over your calf. Otherwise, it isn't going to work. And if you can see that stitching right there, it's an actual bump. That gets a little uncomfortable. But, put that around, which that's a lot at that point. Make sure that stitching is straight because it gets even worse if it's not. Got your little clip, your little button. Make sure it's down all the way. That's it. There's the bolt. I mean, being down in the boot does help a little. And like I said, these are the 511 tactical pants. Even to get it over it. See, that's... It gets less printing than that. If it was like that, I wouldn't even be videoing it. That's ridiculous, but... It right there. I could have probably got it a little bit tighter, but you can still see it's printing. And these are pretty baggy pants. I mean, I've got Levi's and other things like that, and boot cut, and they're they're not as baggy as this one. And you can see right there. Like I said, that was the Glock 26. I'm gonna show you what that looks like actually standing and kind of like if you were looking right at me. Okay. As you can see, it's right here. You can see the bulge, you know, pull this tight. And this would be just, I guess you say, normal walking. I mean, I just, the back side is bad, I mean, maybe not. But I just feel like you can see that really well. And literally, if you could strap the Glock 26 to the side of your leg without all the padding, it's not that bad, but with all that padding, I really think that's why I'm not going to carry this. I mean, that looks like I got something wrong with my leg. I just can't have that. That's insanely printing, so. Well, this has been my review on the Uncle Mike's holster, and I'm going to give it about a four and a half. It's well built. There's no stitching coming out or anything like that. It's going to protect your gun. It's going to hold your gun very well. And if that's the things you're looking for, it's going to do that. I mean, it's extremely good padding. I mean, a lot better than Kydex. You know, it can be a little bit rough on your finish on your gun if that's something that you're, you know, worried about. But I'm trying to find something for everyday carry. And like I said, I wore this for four hours one day. And between this thing rubbing me really bad and printing... It, I just can't deal with the printing at all. If y'all know something that's a lot thinner, now there was a Galco there. It's $99, and this one was around 40 
And I picked this one up being, you know, cheap, and I thought, you know, it would work. Well, it didn't work for me. And as you saw, my pants are pretty baggy. If you have a skinnier leg and baggier pants, it's probably going to be exactly what you want. Or maybe, in, you know, if you were wearing tennis shoes and it was farther down on your ankle, it would probably work better. But to me, all this together is just a little bit too thick. Yes, it protects the gun and it holds it well, and the Velcro works really well. It's just not what I need. I don't like the printing at all. I don't want to, I don't want to see it, you know. And me looking down, you know, at my feet instead of looking straight at me, when you're looking down like that, it always looks worse. So, if y'all know something better, like I said, there was a Galco there. It was leather. I maybe should have picked it up. I might have liked it, and I, I wouldn't be taking it back. Um, if you know something better, Kydex I do prefer. You know, it seems to be thinner, and I really don't care if it rubs me. If it's if it's thinner, I'll deal with the rubbing. Um, and you know, as far as the comfort level, I just need it for everyday carry and thin, where you will not see that thing at all. But if I mean, this is a very good holster. It's just, like I said though, the printing I just I can't deal with that. But if you know something out there, y'all, help me out. Post it if you like it, love it, post it, and I'll do a little research on it. Might even buy it and do any a gun review. So, as always, thanks for watching. Now the video's over. It's for the safety police.